What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and King Hakon, the priest hater, king of England and Norway. And finally, I might be able to change our succession laws. Um, we can't go for primogenitor, unfortunately, because of the administration stuff. But I can go for agnatic cognatic laws in England. And even though we don't need it right now, I feel like this, this is maybe something I should go for. Then again, mm, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I can change this and then still change to primogenitor. Because I might, I might not be able to. Um, because obviously this is something I want to do, but I kind of have to wait on that. So, uh, but then again, it's currently a good, ch uh, it's, it's a good moment to do this because we're not at war. Our people like us quite a bit, actually. So voting, actually doing this, what might probably be the best doing it right now. Then again, we could go for some other, um, well, changes. Um, still not this one. How, how quick are we going to go for legalism? Oh, man, we're only halfway there. That sucks. That really sucks. Right, let's go for military organizations. Go for construction. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go for tolerance here, but I really don't want to because, well, I mean, it's just, I kind of need to to uh, save up the points, really. That's the thing. But yeah, um, I could obviously go ahead and fight some wars right now. Um... But I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to just wait. We need a lot more prestige, to be honest. Now, I can create a few titles. And if I do that, um, we'll get some prestige for it. For example, if I was to create the Kingdom of Lapland, I would gain 400 prestige. Then these t these duchies are 200 prestige each. That's a 1,200 prestige. But we still need... I mean, we need 5,000 right now. Um... I'm not quite sure what it is I can do, but probably, you know what might be a good idea? Um, going on a grand hunt. We need September. Okay. In September, I'm going to go on a grand hunt. Or I could actually search for a smith. You know what? Let's do that. Maybe we can get some jewels or something. Weaponsmith we already have. A new set of armor could be good. But maybe some jewels would be nice too. A crown or something. That would probably be a good idea. And... Yeah, well, I keep upgrading our uh, capital as well, so that's okay. So let's see what the smith does. Mm-hmm. Load in the goldsmith. Sure. And an impressive set of jewels. Order a beautiful set of crown jewels. Uh, should it be... Doesn't need to be impressive. Let's give me a regular one. I don't want to spend too much on this. And wow, Malcolm, our friend, is imprisoned. Well, that's not good. <laughs> not, not, nothing I can really do. But yeah, as I walked, as I was walking towards Master Loden's smithy, I could not hear the sound of progress, but instead the sound of voices talking. I found Loden, my daughter, Princess Yon, discussing different metals in their compositions. All this was talk. All this talk was making my head spin and definitely halting the progress. Okay, my fifteen-year-old daughter is speaking. What does he think he's doing? This is not why he's here. Master Loden focuses on his task and produces a superior piece of work. Or, we lose prestige. Uh, I mean, let's not... I mean, I hate losing prestige, but you know what? Let's not be a dick. Let them let them have a talk. It's fine. It's not, it's not problematic. Also, what is happening here? King of France in the Jura over Vexen. Okay. Oh. Interesting, a calling on the throne, or on, not on the throne, but calling ruling. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it might be that we actually ex extend our realm as well by just having powerful vassals. Anyway, a heavy box has been brought before us. Loden has finished what his work, and the crown jewels are completed. Okay, let's check them out. Good job there. A crown of lilies... So that's giving us a little bit of prestige, Noble Scepter. Yeah, it's not amazing, but I didn't want to spend that much money on it either. I could have, but I think this is fine. Alright, because we also need money, obviously, for the thing. But yeah, we're getting a little bit more prestige now. 
Okay, Malcolm is being attacked by one of our vassals. And I'm not sure if I, there's something I can do about that. But Duke Radval de Just died. And his titles were split. Between... Yeah. His sons. That's good. For me. My sister Cecilia... Does not want to... Oh, man. So she's staying with her children as well. She's only 29. Ah, she could marry so many more people. That would be useful. But oh well. Uh, I guess I'm going to make this count my new marshal. Um, and I'll have him train troops in the capital like, once more. Good. Also, you can probably scheme. You don't need to stay around there anymore, Dagmar. You can just scheme now. And... Okay, why is she... Why does she care? No. She can just stay away. Uh, someone was murdered. And I finished the Huskal training ground. Alright. Let's... Upgrade the barracks here. And I think I can probably imprison... You. No, I can't, actually. Right, you're my friend's vassal. Mm-hmm. My apologies, I had to go for a quick cut there. I don't quite remember what I was looking at. I I was looking at I love her for some reason. I'm not so certain why. So I'll just move on. And one thing I have uh, well thought about now is that I am actually going for the Ignatic Ignatic laws here because that allows matrilinear marriages and that's really important because a lot of our vassals that we you know that we um that we give lands to they end up with well unfavorable marriages so especially like right now it continues the ulfeld dynasty is uh well is is going to probably die out yeah this is another regular marriage this sucks i mean they already have so many children i'm not sure if there's something i can do about this uh, the Godwinsons will actually take over lands. Ah, uh, that sucks. I mean, there's a ch I mean, it's very unlikely that all of them will die out. Um, and even then, I think the next one... Yeah, she's regular ma regularly married. You are betrothed. Um, so yeah, it's looking bad. But maybe the last daughter might marry matrilineally. We'll have to see. But for now, I think it's good that we vote on that. Um, has it come through, actually? Well, did I just change it? Oh, no, I, I, I was able to just change it. I didn't have... It actually does not require a vote. All right, that's good then. Either way, we're moving on. Now, let me see if I can change stuff still. So, can I change primogenitor? Has not previously changed succession law. So, I think we can only change stuff once. That's pretty annoying. Um, so, we'll have to see. Uh, Fredicelli heresy has appeared. It, I, I could see that. I might just destroy the King of England uh, once we have an empire. And just stay king of Norway. That's a possibility there. But for now, I'll keep it the way it is. Um, in fact, if I create the kingdom of Lapland now, I mean, what that would really give me a lot of prestige. That's 400 prestige, and it would give us more over time. Because look at this, a kingdom, a kingdom is yeah, 0.8. That's actually a lot. It's actually a lot. Mm-hmm. Vesta button would be part of it too. You know. Let's do it. Let's do it. And um let's nominate Rangwald as our successor. I'm not sure how many people get to vote. There may not be too many people, so that's fine. Okay, we'll fulfill the ambition to uh groom an heir. That's nice. Yoren, and she could... Oh, look at this. She's brave, content, all that good stuff. I might just... You know, I might match a linear and marry her to someone, because she's so amazing, and give her lands. I should be able to give her lands, right? No, I can't. But I will make her Ihamana. There you go. And we'll see what we do with her. But yeah, all while all this time spent outside is undoubtedly good for my health, it has not worked as well for my looks. Every night when I return home, my clothes are soiled in dirt and mud, and my hair bears the stink of wet dogs. Okay, that's not good. That's making us generally unattractive. Okay, oh well. That's fine. Although, I think that reduces 
opinion with our female vassals. So, I think our... I think even... Our, no, actually, our daughter doesn't care. <laughs> Good. Anyway, Duke Ale has accepted... Mm. Oh, the king the king of Scotland won, I see. All right, so he defended his realm. I mean, that's good. He's our friend. We want him to uh, be successful. I wish I could actually... Oh, well, he's been excommunicated even. All right. Well, I don't think we can help him there. Yeah, we'll just not declare war. I think this is all we can really do to help out our friend at this point. So, um, Jihad has failed for Africa. Oh, right. That's actually the king of Sicily. Ah, uh, the Hotville. Okay, so they were unsuccessful in defending Jerusalem, but they did at least uh, protect Africa here. Very good. All right. Well, I do hope that we'll have another crusade very soon because, you know, that would just be kind of amazing if we could join in on this. Uh, we do need a new ambition as well. Uh, War chest or seeing the round prosper. I think this is fine. More taxes. A white bear. Lately, you've heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers. Oh, not a white stag, but a bear. Okay, well, find him if I can. Making some decent amount of money. And the trade route from San Mora is in dire need of new ship and equipment. Now, since this is no longer our capital, I might neglect it. 200 gold. This is going to last uh, for two more years. It's really not that. I think we'll leave it. I hate losing the prestige, obviously, but that's just the way it is. Also, um, new pope. So yeah, we have Pope Hadrianus V now. Do I have even anyone in the Curia on the mind control? I, I don't even think so. Do I have any cardinals? Nope. Prince Bishop of Art. Uh, nope, nope, I don't have anyone anymore. Man, so unfortunate. One, we had a Norwegian Pope for a while, but that didn't last long. Okay, Mariah, stop it. I don't want you... <laughs> Go away, please. Uh, and we do have quite a sickness spreading here. What is this? Smallpox. Hmm. And our the Duke of Weiss died of the flu. Oh, uh, so the Sterkin dynasty is in trouble. But they have... Okay, they have a few more children. Okay. A few more members of their family. Four more members. Uh, so that should be fine. Wait. Why are both of them at the House Orkney? Agatha is married to Wig Lake. And then you're married to another one. Okay. Well, as long as as long as they keep in as long as they stay in control, it's fine. Anyway. Recent sightings of a great white bear. Saddle the horse. We'll try and find it. According to our Chancellor, the peasants have started a delightful tradition that will support, of course. Surely. Okay, and Jorwick is declaring war. Normandy was successful in their conquest against uh, the French king. Um, our nephew has declared a war on the king of Scotland. Holy shit, there's a lot of disease going on. Why does he not like us? Mm, wants to see in the council. Okay. All right, an epic hunt for us. Int, new technology. I'm going to go with construction. And we should maybe start building a hospital here as well. There you go. 90 gold, that's not too bad. All right, now, you spent weeks in the wilderness, and that apparently is pointless. We will gain one marshal for a while. Uh, luckily, we're neither wrath nor stressed. Okay, well, we won't give up for now. That's that. You have formed an alliance. That's awesome. Do we have any factions? No, we don't actually have any factions, so that's good. A loyal vassal has sent you a courier, a courier with an offer. He's willing to make a significant donation to your war chest, but in return, you must promise to return the favor in the future. Hmm. This is Finn of Viken. Uh, 
You know what? I'll take that, actually. I'll take that. That's a, That seems interesting. Seems interesting to me. Okay, we fulfilled our ambition. So what's next? It's just this. Seeing the realm prosper. I mean, I don't mind it, but then again... I don't know. Is there something I can go for? Some county? Duchy of Burgundy could be interesting. But... I could make France a tributary. That I wouldn't mind that actually. Is who who are you fighting right now? France is in a lot of wars. Oh wow, they've even lost to Aquitaine. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I would like to maybe make Denmark. What wait, hold on. What if I make you my tributary? Establish a tributary state. Um through war you can force any realm pay income and levies cannot be called to war I could do that except no I can't we need majesty of four uh, but this tribute we can through war you can force uh, will break free upon death of the suzerain they will pay 40% of their income as tribute uh, hmm would that free up Sweden? I'm not sure if it, if it does. It might. Might not. They have Sweden and Denmark. Okay. This guy has Sweden and Denmark under control. Maybe we actually need to do something about this. But how many men? He's got 4,000 it says. Hmm. Well. Oh wow. We've got... Look at all the modifiers we have. It's kind of crazy. Um. So... You know what? I'll try and do that, actually. Let's let's declare the war. And extort a tribute. Do we get prestige for that? Yeah, we actually gained 200 prestige. We kind of need that. Having a... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. We want prestige. So let's make him a tributary. And I, it doesn't... I don't think Sweden's going to be joining in and against us here. I hope not, anyway. Yeah. We'll see. But let's... Uh, let's raise our men. All of Norwegian troops. I think I'm gonna just raise the new. Whoa, what the hell? I'm just gonna raise my Norwegian troops. What the fuck is going on? Why am I not. I just want my troops, not the counselors. It's kind of awkward. Anyway, let's uh, move up or let's unite here. And I think I'll leave you guys unraised for now. I think that's fine. I think we have enough troops to deal with Obertrithia. With just our Norwegian troops, right? Let's see. As long as Sweden doesn't join in against us, which I don't think... Yeah, which I, I think they can't be called into. Actually, never mind. Sweden actually joined in against us. In Denmark as well. Okay, so this is quite problematic. Uh, okay. Okay. Not good. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna run into these 450 men. Okay, so let's raise our troops again. And this time, uh, let's raise some ships. Oh, that sucks. Okay, let's get all of our ships here. All of our troops here as well. Kind of annoying because... Let's actually go to Norfolk. Or, in fact, let's go to... Let's go to Yorwick. Uh, hopefully because the disease has not spread there yet. And, uh, yeah. I would like to avoid that, if possible, taking any damage. To my troops. And then you. Please raise your ships. Glorious. And you can actually move here immediately. That's fine. So we're actually going to be fighting Norway and Sweden as well. Uh, that was certainly not the plan. That's going to be actually quite difficult. Uh, but it will be very prestigious if we win. When we win. Not if. When. Okay. Anyway. 4,000. Let's combine our ships. There you go. Get our troops on board. And we'll make our way to... Right over here, actually. 7,000 men. We'll be leading ourselves. Let me see who's my marshal. Yeah, I need my marshal's command as well. You'll lead a flank. You'll lead the other flank. And I'm just gonna... So yeah, this is another question. What do I do? Do I wait for them? Do I strike? 
Let's go here so we maybe scout a little bit more. Oh, there, there are 3,000 troops, I see. Okay. Uh, stand on these ships. They're kind of confusing. Okay, our vassal is concerned. I could give him lands. This is actually a pretty decent dude. Um, but I can't really give this out right now. Especially not Romsdahl. I actually, I mean, I could have given this one out. Uh, but I don't really want to. There's no need. There's no need right now. Okay, so these ships stand them down. I probably could have kept those around, but whatever. Get our troops here. You're going to arrive on the 3rd of August. 9th of August. No, 18th of August. Okay, so we're going to actually catch him. Very good. So we're going to take a river crossing. We have a lot more men. We should be fine. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be taking attrition or something like that. But it's August. Should be fine, actually. Alright, so... We're leading personally, and we might even capture the High Chief right here. That would end it. Um, that would be amazing, if that could work. Let's see how the battle goes. Yeah, it's going well in our favor. Um, High Chief Aina died now as well, pneumonia. Alright, that's fine. Okay, you're crushed. Alright, now you do have quite a lot of men. He's, I think you raised, yeah, he raised a lot more. Event spawns are hired. I wonder what kind of troops he hired. We could hire a holy order. We just don't have enough piety for that, unfortunately. And they're now rebels. You're moving to Skara. You're already locked in. So I think we can crush you there. Get these troops together. Uh, you're moving to Vastagotland. We'll try and hunt you down. Yep, we'll catch you as well. Very good. And then there's a the second army that we have here. Uh, that will be led by... Wait, where are you? Skara? You can't all be in Skara. That's insane. No. You... You will lead these troops. And we'll crush you in Vamland. If we can. No, you're actually retreating. Oh, never mind. Let's go here then. Boaslan. Alright, this is relatively easy as well. Now, I would like to avoid... Um... Fighting the Swedish troops outright. Because, you know, they're not the problem. The problem is Obertrithia itself. So, you guys can move in as well. 27% in our favor so far. Pretty good. We just gotta be careful about attrition. Um, I'm actually gonna maybe sack the Danish capital. Anyway, during this evening's council meeting, our chancellor has heard of a rumor. Sure, some artifacts? Yeah, let's go for it. I want to find some artifacts. That would be really nice, actually. Okay, another battle. Uh, the High Chief has been caught again. And there are the Knights Templar. Very good. Can we crush you? Oh, wow. We actually slew someone. Shaman Tadeus of Ratzeburg has been killed by the Count of Devon, our marshal. Good riddance. I w would like to get the uh, High Chief, though. But that'd be much better. Anyway, for some time now, I've been worried about our Chancellor's progress, or rather his l lack thereof. There's some big setback. Okay, that's unfortunate. I don't think I have ever actually found anything, um, any artifacts, using the search. So I hope that we're going to be successful this time. Anyway, we're going to go here first. And I think I might have to build a fortress here. Or a fort. Let's do that. And... Are we being besieged anywhere? No, I think Sweden is dealing with their peasant rebellion right now, which is actually quite useful. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go there. Oh, shit, we already took attrition. Damn. Damn, son. That's uh, bad news. But either way, um, I'm gonna send you here, build another fort in this province. I hope it's not gonna be too bad. Okay. We managed to build it in time. Orkney has converted to Catholicism. That's awesome too. And uh, yeah, I think this war... Oh, we have that taking war score against us. That's not going to... Yeah, that's not going to be the case for forever. As soon as we uh, siege some of these provinces, uh, the war will be way in our favor. And the Scottish excommunication war has ended with our good friend Dine of Cancer. His son has now taken over. 
uh, which, yeah, is interesting. And we have a few more, yeah, provinces we could claim, uh, a few more claims we could press, but that will not happen today. Uh, maybe next time, but probably not at all. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.